welcome to the second part of this tutorial. Uh, in the first part, I showed you how to put uh, two synthesizers samples into uh, Edison and chop them up so you have separate sounds which you can use uh, in a side trance song to make it sound more spacey, more side trance. Um, I've opened a new Edison channel here and in this channel uh, I've added the same two synthesizers and I've already placed uh, all the markers at the correct spots and I've deleted the unneeded markers. Um, the next step is to dump this into the fruity slicer so uh, we can use it in a piano roll. Um, here in pattern 3 I've already added a fruity slicer channel. You can do that uh, by going to the channels button in fruity loops and then pressing channels add one and uh, selecting the fruity slicer. Um, I'll open the fruity slicer here. Uh, as you can see it's uh, empty and uh, we have to dump our uh, sample from Edison into this. Um, that's really easy because uh, there is this drag slash copy sample slash select selection button here in Edison and um, I just have to uh, click it and then drag it into the fruity uh, slicer to dump it in there. So let's do that right now. I'll click it and I'll drag it here and I'll let go and voila. It's here, uh, it's the same sample and the markers are also placed uh, in the right places. Um, as you can see, uh, I've turned the auto dump function on here and uh, this function um, makes sure that uh, this uh, sample gets dumped into, into the piano roll. So uh, we can see here in pattern 3 that it is indeed dumped in here. Um, and inside the piano roll we can see that the notes are placed as uh, numbered slices here. Uh, let me uh, show you what this sounds like. As you can hear, uh, this sounds a little bit different than uh, the sample in Edison. Uh, the chops uh, have made it sound a little faster and that doesn't matter at all for the purpose we're using it right now. Um, I've created uh, my own uh, melody, my own little rhythm uh, with this uh, dump. Uh, I'll show you that. In pattern 4 I've added another slicer and I've also added a kick a bass and a synthesizer. Uh, first I'll turn them off and I'll let you hear what my own little pattern sounds like. It looks a bit like this. Um, I'll just play it and then you can hear what it sounds like. Well as you can hear it already sounds a little bit spacey, it sounds a little side trance but uh, it misses the kicks, the bass, and the synthesizer. Um, I've also added a little flanger to it in the mixer channel. Uh, that's uh, good to make it sound a little stranger. I'll close this first and uh, you might be curious what it sounds like with the kick, the bass, and the synth turned on inside this pattern. I'll play it for you. Well, that's what it sounds like. Uh, you can use the, uh, this tutorial, uh, the things I've explained here, for any kind of sounds. Like, um, you can use a voice sample that you like and you can chop it up into bits and put the words in random orders. Uh, you can use uh, sounds you've recorded, like uh, ambient sounds, sounds that cars are making in your street, and chop it up and uh, make a nice, spacey, side trance rhythm to go with the rest of your song. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you've learned something, 
and uh, spread the word and goodbye.